the magnetic field is like this this is the coil is like this now this coil is making an angle theta with respect to the magnetic field now what is the direction of current this is the direction of the current now what is the direction of the magnetic field the direction of the magnetic field is like this now this is called what to say current direction right this is the magnetic field direction right what is the plane formed this is the plane formed now what is the direction of the force the direction of the force is like this the direction of the force is always plane formed by the magnetic field and current carrying conductor therefore now in this case the force is like this the force is like this therefore the force on bc or cb force on bc or cb next one here the current carrying conductor is like this magnetic field is like this now as the coil is like this magnetic field is like this right coil is like this right magnetic magnetic field is like this the coil is like this right in this case the bottom surface of the coil that is represented by what to say de the current direction is like this current direction is like this the magnetic field is like this the force is downward as the force is downward this is the force that is on de right now force on cb the force on cb therefore now force on that is force on bc force on bc next what to say force on da force on da r equal right i into b bar cross b bar that is i into b bar cross b bar forces are equal and opposite and opposite right along the same line of action along same line of action along the same line of action hence they cancel they cancel right therefore now f of bc that is f of bc and f of da right both are equal and opposite they will cancel with each other now here the current carrying conductor is placed in the current carrying rectangular coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field now that current carrying rectangular coil is divided into four conductors four conductors will experiences four forces out of four forces out of four forces now two forces will cancel with each other now what are the remaining forces that is f of ab and f of cd therefore what is f of ab this is f of ab now that is what is f of cd now f of ab is equals to i into l bar cross b bar right f of cd is equals to i into l bar cross b bar now once again now this is the top of the rectangular coil this is the bottom of the rectangular coil right now this is called a magnetic field this is called the current carrying rectangular coil this current carrying rectangular coil is making an angle theta now that is the current is in this direction the magnetic field is in this direction according to the fleming's left hand rule the force is in this direction now what is the bottom of the coil this is the bottom of the coil what do you say de now the current is like this the current is like this the magnetic field is like this then the force is in the downward direction therefore the force the force on is bc the force on a da the force on a da right both are equal and opposite they are along the same line of action thereby we can say that right this force on a bc the force on a de the cancel with each other that means 
whenever the current carrying rectangular coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field right the forces acting on the breadths the forces acting on the breadths are equal and opposite if and they are acting along the same line of action they will cancel with each other next out of four forces only two forces are left the force acting on ab and the force acting on cd right what is the force acting on ab the force acting on ab is like this i into l bar cross b bar the force acting on cd the force acting on cd is like this now according to the fleming's left hand rule according to the fleming's left hand rule now the force acting on ab the force acting on ab right what is the magnetic field this is the magnetic field now this is the magnetic field magnetic field is like this what is the current this is a current what is the mag what is the force the force is like this inward force therefore now force acting on ab the force acting on ab this is called what to say magnetic field now this is the current both are perpendicular magnetic field is like this the current is like this then if you apply right fleming's left hand rule this is the magnetic field this is a current the thumb is representing the force therefore now this is the inward force therefore the force acting on ab is the inward force inward force is represented by what to say cross next what is the force acting on cd now what is the magnetic field magnetic field is like this but the current direction is down as the current direction is down like this this is called a magnetic field current direction is down then the force is outward therefore the force is outward therefore force acting on ab is inward the force acting on cd are outward that implies therefore f of ab is equals to i into l bar cross b bar that is lb sin theta now f of ab f of ab is equals to now i into that is lb sin theta right whenever you are simplifying f is f of ab f of ab is equals to i into l into b now this is called what to say current direction this is called magnetic field direction what is the angle 90 degrees therefore sin 90 therefore now f of ab is equals to that is i l b sin 90 is equals to 1 right f of cd that is f of cd force acting on cd is equals to what to say i l b theta that is this is called cd the cd conductor is making an angle 90 degrees with the magnetic field then sin 90 that implies f of cd is equals to i l b therefore force acting on ab force acting on c now what is the force acting on ab force acting on ab is equals to ilb force acting on cd that is ilb these forces are equal these forces are equal and these forces are equal and they are opposite the force acting on ab is inward force the force acting on that is cd is outward force both the forces are equal and opposite both the forces are equal and opposite and there is a separation and there is a separation this is the perpendicular separation this is the perpendicular separation right then it will constitute a couple because of the couple it will rotate now whenever the current carrying rectangular coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field that current carrying rectangular coil is divided into four conductors these four conductors are supposed to be placed in the uniform magnetic field right the forces on the breadths the forces on the breadths are cancel with each other why because these forces on the breadths are equal and opposite and they are along the same line of action that net force on the breadths is equals to 
zero. Now, what are the remaining portions? AB is the one conductor, CD is the another conductor. Force acting on AB, ILB. Force acting on CD, ILB. These two forces are equal. According to the Fleming's left hand rule, we can show that these two forces are opposite. Whenever the two forces equal and opposite, then if they are parallel, it will constitute a couple. It will constitute a couple. That because of the couple, the coil will rotate. Because of the couple, the coil will turn. The turning effect can be explained through a torque. That is, torque is equal to, what do you say? That is, force into, what do you say, perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance. Now, here tau is equals to, what is the force? That is ILB. ILB into, what is the perpendicular distance? Now, here, what is the force? This is the force. Now, this is the inward force. This is the inward force. Now, this is the outward force. This is the inward force. This is the outward force. What is the perpendicular distance? Inward force and outward force. The perpendicular distance is like this. Now this perpendicular distance. Now this perpendicular distance is nothing but. This is called B. This is called B. Now this is called 90 degrees. Now this is the perpendicular distance is equal to. Right. You can define cos theta cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to adjacent side this is the adjacent side d perpendicular by hypotenuse that is called what to say b therefore d perpendicular is equal to what to say b cos theta therefore d perpendicular is equal to what to say b cos theta therefore torque tau is equal to that is i into l into b that is into b cos theta therefore now that is tau is equal to what to say i into l into b is called area into b cos theta therefore for a tau that is i a b cos theta now the torque experienced by the Current carrying rectangular coil is called tau is equal to IAB cos theta. Now, here in this case, if the coil has n turns, coil has n turns, coil has n turns, tau is equal to n i a b cos theta. Tau is equal to n i a b cos theta. Now, let us consider, right? Now, if, what is theta? Theta is the angle made by the coil with respect to the magnetic field. Theta is the angle made by the, right, coil with respect to the magnetic field.